Now to Betsy Andreu. Her husband, Frankie, was Lance Armstrong's teammate and very, very close friend. The couple was part of his intimate inner circle until she says Armstrong turned on them after they told the truth about his drug use. Betsy, good morning. You have said you were furious watching that interview. What was it you expected to hear? Well, I want to give credit to Lance because what he did, admitting that he was a fraud and a cheat all those years, is a huge, big step. He took the first step, but he it, it all started with this hospital room where he admitted to using these performance enhancing drugs and he wouldn't step to the, up to the plate and admit that it happened. This is where it all started. And it was really disappointed personally that he didn't admit to that. You were a major part of this interview last night. He admitted ruining the lives of many people who told the truth about his doping. But when he was asked point blank, if you told the truth when you testified under oath that Lance had told his cancer doctors in that hospital room that he had used performance enhancing drugs, he refused. He said, I'm going to lay down on that one it sounds like he was saying I'm she's she didn't tell the truth but I'm not gonna challenge her anymore in Lance's mind what he is saying is I'll give her that one so in his mind he is saying let's agree with what Betsy said mm -hmm. it would have been nice but I think there's legal issues there because if anybody lied under oath about the hospital room before the grand jury, that just opens up a myriad of problems. Let's take a look at the clip when he was asked whether or not he'd made things right with you because he said he's been on sort of an apology tour calling some people to apologize. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what he said. Is it well with the two of you? Have you made peace? Oh, no. I think she'd be okay with me saying this, but I, I'm gonna take the liberty to say it. And I said, listen, I, I called you crazy. I called you a I called you all these things, but I never called you fat. I never called you fat? What is that? What is, what is that? Is that, is that because what Lance would do is he would always attack the person and not the message. And so he would just go after me. And then there were rumors of he said this, this, and that about you. And I say, well, okay, fine. Maybe I was a witch, but now everybody knows why. I told the truth for years, and I just it just went unheard. And to set the record straight, he called you vengeful over the years, bitter, jealous, crazy, a lot of other words I can't say on morning television. Mm -hmm. He called you in the last couple of days, he revealed last night in the interview. What did he say to you in that conversation? Did he apologize? He did apologize, and it means more that he apologized to me in per on the phone and not in a public forum. But this was the first time you'd heard him from oh. him in years and years and years. Since I saw him at my deposition in 2005. What was it like to hear him on the phone? How did he sound? I couldn't believe it was Lance. I could not believe that Lance apologized. I think this was a process because I honestly don't think he knows how to tell the truth and how to say I'm sorry. So it means a lot that he called to apologize to me. It was a very emotional conversation. I want to keep it private, mm -hmm. but he certainly dropped the ball when it came to that hospital room. And I told him in that conversation, Lance, this is where it all started. You really do have to tell the truth here. He, you know him very, very well. To many last night, he didn't look remorseful. He still looked ruthless. That's because, again, for him to admit what he did was a big first step. But this is, this is all new for everybody. There's a range of emotions. Lance doesn't say I'm sorry. Lance doesn't, isn't used to telling the truth. And so I think in the days to come, in the months to come, I'm hoping that we will see the contrition. Mm. Actions speak louder than words. So if the words aren't empty. Uh, yes or no, did he hurt himself? Yes. All right. Betsy, I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more. Part two of the interview airs tonight. Thank you so much for being here. You're and, welcome. And your vindication has finally arrived, at least in the, in the court of public opinion. We know you, <laughs> you were telling the truth.